Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Orioles is Randy Jones, whose record is 8-10 with a 3.92 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Burt Blylevin, whose record is 2-1 with a 4.32 ERA. Okay, so we won two out of three against the Yankees. That gives us an extra game lead on them. We're up uh, three and a half on the Yanks and nine and a half games to the Baltimore Orioles, who we face today. And uh, the, it's a four-game series, so if we can win three out of four, that should, for the most part, eliminate Baltimore uh, from contention. Uh, take a look here at Baltimore's uh, team page. And you'll see here, they're still suffering some major injuries. Mike Boddicker, out for the year. He was basically the best pitcher on this team uh, prior to his injury. And they're going to get uh, Jim Palmer back in four days. So after this series is over. Uh, so we're not going to see Jim Palmer. In fact, his ra he's rated uh, so low, he may not even make the roster again. I'm not even sure. But uh, you can see here their top prospects and their expiring contracts, some of their uh, primary players, uh, their uh, contracts are up at the end of the season. And you can see here their team uh, leaders as well as their st statistics. Um, let's go ahead and get started with today's game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like and or subscribe. Here is Burt Blylevin, uh, the current Orioles lineup is batting uh, 263 in 60 plate appearances against Burt Blylevin. And you may notice a familiar name. Here is Dan Petrie. Back in the rotation as a number four starter. He'll get the um, start in game number four. He has the highest ratings of any pitcher on the roster right now. And uh, I do think that his, uh, his career path is gonna be changed at this point. He's been pretty horrible in our other two Sims. So I'm hoping that he'll get back on track this year and lead us to uh, the American League East Championship. Okay, here is uh, the pitcher we're facing today. It's a left-hander, it's Randy Jones. And because he's a lefty, we have our primary lineup versus left-handers in there. So that means we're gonna put Guy Salars uh, at third and move Mickey Hatcher to the DH role. And we're gonna move uh, Trammell to first and bring in Mark Wagner uh, to play shortstop. So the day off to Greg Brock and to Gibby. And of course they can come in in you know, pinch hit situations if we need it. Let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Baltimore Orioles. Batting leadoff playing center field is Omar Marino. Batting second and dh today is Alan Bannister. Batting third, playing first base is Eddie Murray. Batting cleanup in left field is Greg Luzinski. Batting fifth at third base is John Castino. Batting sixth at shortstop is Robin Yount. Batting seventh in right field is Kenny Singleton. Batting eighth and catching is Ray Smith. And batting ninth, Playing second base is Wayne Krinchicki. Let's take a look at Burt. Burt. Burt, Burt, Burt. Burt had a great game his last time out, getting the victory over Oakland, going seven innings. That's his best performance in a Tiger uniform. Uh, two runs uh, given up, seven hits, and six Ks in those seven innings. So a solid performance. He's two and one as a Tiger. And he's 8 and 11 overall. His ERA getting back to where we like it. 23 Ks and 25 innings pitch. That's uh, at a better clip than what he was doing for the Pirates. Opponents are betting 252 against him. No complete games, no shutouts. Maybe we can change that today. His fastball, of course, is around uh, 89 miles an hour. That's where it tops out. But his curveball is his best pitch. He's got a sidearm curve rated 89. At a regular old curve, it's probably like a 12 to 6 curve. 
uh, rated at an 81. He's got a fastball and a change. Neither one are good. But we do love his endurance. A 93. That means he can go about 120 pitches. Uh, maybe up to 130. So a complete game is possible with this guy. There's a good old Dan Petrie. Can't wait for, for him to get a start. And you can see all of our bullpen is available. And uh, take a look here at the Tigers' defensive alignment. Uh, we have uh, Guy Solares over there at third, who is superior to Hatcher. And then we have uh, Wagner, who is uh, considerably worse than Trammell. But Trammell kicking it at 93 over here at first base. So uh, actually the best defensive player is Trammell at first. Okay, so here's Omar Marino leading the American League in stolen bases with 47. Popping it up right to the mound. Is Blylevin going to take it? No, it's going to be Parrish making the catch. One down. Here's Alan Bannister. 3 for 11 in his career against Burt Blylevin. Is that going to fall in for a little duck start? No, it's going to be caught by Henderson in left. There's two down. Next up is Eddie Murray, and Murray strikes out on a curveball. 1-2-3 inning for Bly Levin. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's go ahead and do the Tigers lineup rundown. Batting leadoff in center field is Eddie Miller. Batting second in left field is Ricky Henderson. Batting third at first base is Alan Trammell. Batting cleanup playing DH today is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting sixth at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting seventh in right field is Andre Dawson. Batting eighth at third base is Guy Solars. And batting ninth, playing shortstop is Mark Wagner. The lefty, Randy Jones, on the mound, 8-10 with that 392 ERA. Doesn't strike out anybody, doesn't really walk anybody. Opponents are batting 308 against him. He's got two complete games. We've seen this guy a couple times this season. Three times, in fact. Let's take a look. He got a victory over us back on May 16th, going seven innings, giving up four runs on seven hits. Not a great performance. And then he's lost two in a row, going seven in the third, and a complete game, uh, giving up two, five runs and two runs. Uh, so suffering back-to-back -back losses against Detroit. So we could be, we could definitely beat him. Let's see if uh, the Tigers can get some runs early here. Get the uh, Orioles down early. There's the Orioles' defensive alignment. Wow. Kenny Singleton down to a 69 in right field. That guy should be in the DH role. Here's Eddie Miller leading off against Randy Jones. A pop-up next to the bag at second. Plays made by the shortstop, Yount. One down. Next up, Ricky Henderson popping out to right. Two quick, out, quick outs for Jones. And then a base hit into center field for Trammell. Do we want to go for two? We do not. Trammell on first for Mickey Hatcher. We're going to let him swing away. And a grounder, comebacker to Randy Jones. And Jones tosses him out. We go to the top of the second. No score. We got the bowl. Greg Luzinski up. Luzinski strikes out looking. 2Ks for Bly Levin. One down for John Castino, and Castino gets a base hit into center field. So Castino on first. First hit for the Orioles today. And then Yount takes a strike three looking. Bly Levin did not strike out batters at this clip when he was with Pittsburgh. Seems to be succeeding here in the American League. And then a stolen base by Castino on Parrish. That is Castino's seventh stolen base. Seven out of eight and a career high right now. 
So maybe catching him napping a little bit. Castino in scoring position for Kenny Singleton, and he rips it right at Trammell, who snags it for the third out. That would have been for sure an RBI. We go to the bottom of the second inning. We have Parrish, Whitaker, and Dawson do up. Parrish two for seven in his career against Jones. Grounding out to short. One down now for Sweet Lou. Lou batting 291 overall versus left-handers. And there's a base hit that gets past Yount. Whitaker's average up to 255. We are going to let Dawson swing away. Struggling versus lefties and righties. And there's a base hit to left. There we go. Maybe Dawson finally waking up. His average over 2. 10 for the first time in quite a while. So now we have Guy Solars up. Solars batting 303 versus left handers, but a 213 average overall. And he goes to left. Luzinski makes the catch. And Whitaker tags, takes third. A little bit of a risky play there. But 80% chance, it said. And so. We have first and third now for Mark Wagner. Wagner been clutch all year. 333 and backup duty. And a ground ball to short. Now it makes a nice play. We strand the runners at first and third. And we go to the top of the third inning. We have Ray Smith, Wayne Krenchicki. And then back to the top of the lineup with Omar Marino. And Smith, a base hit to left. Smith probably breathing a sigh of relief that uh, the Orioles, who uh, traded for Butch Weiniger earlier in the season, just shipped him off to St. Louis. So uh, the starting job is his once again. And back-to-back -back singles have Wylevin in a jam here as Krichicki gets a base hit the left. So first and second, nobody out for the speedster Omar Marino. Marino, fly ball to center field. Miller makes the play. Smith holds. Pretty good speed for a catcher at second base. Uh, average at 80. One down. Here is the uh, DH, Allen Bannister. And a base at the left. That should score Smith. It does. And it's 1-0 Baltimore. So, first and second, Bannister with that RBI, single on first. Here's Eddie Murray. Murray strikes out for the second time. Four Ks for Blylevin. And it doesn't get any easier with Greg Luzinski at the plate. One, two count, and he strikes out. So, Blylevin helps his own cause, striking out the last two batters. We go to the bottom of the third. Tigers are down a run. One to nothing. Here's Eddie Miller. We need a good nickname for Eddie Miller. Oh, an infield single. There we go. Runner on first. Wow, he's down to a 92 in this situation. And his uh, percentage is 75. That's because Jones is a lefty. And I think Ray Smith is a little bit better defensively. Yeah, 84. So considerably better than um, Ron Hassey, who we just faced. So we're going to hit and run with Ricky. Oh, shit. Ricky didn't even bother to swing the bat. Did he not get the signal? It was a curveball. So Henderson strikes out. Miller steals second base. He is 13 out of 14 on the season. So Miller in scoring position at second. Here's Tram. And he strikes out swinging. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And uh, that's going to leave it up to Hatcher here to get something accomplished. Ground ball to first. And Miller. Oh, wow. Murray, 1980 Gold Glove winner, boots it at first. Everybody's safe. 
So first and third for Big Wheel, Lance Parrish. I keep hoping Parrish is getting his uh, power back. Hey, a base hit. The middle will take a base hit. Miller scores. So the error by Murray leads to a run unearned against Jones. And the game is tied. So first and second now for Sweet Lou. Lou had a hit his first time up. And he's going to get a three-run Jimmy Jack to left center field. That error, ever the more costly now. It's 4-1 to one Detroit. 14th home run for Sweet Lou. And I believe that is only his second one since he went crazy. Yeah, so, yeah, not even in his last 20 games. He had five home runs in four games. That's not even on the, uh, on the board anymore. So that ties a career high for Sweet Lou with 14. All those runs are unearned. Two down for Dawson, and Dawson does what Dawson does with a ground ball to second. We go to the fourth inning, four to one Detroit. John Castino leading off against Bert Y11. A ground ball to Lou, one down. Robin Yount up next, and he rips it into left field for a base hit. So Yount, I mean, pretty solid season. 276 with nine home runs. Uh, not a lot of power this year. Runner on first. And Kenny Singleton goes Apple Taco for a two-run shot against Burt. And it's four to three. That's the 11th home run for Singleton. So the Orioles get two of the runs back. Ray Smith. Ground ball is short. Two down. Just going to leave it up to Wayne Krenchicki. Krenchicki. Ground ball to second. Four to three. So the Orioles get a couple back. And they're down a run. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Here is Guy Solars. Seven for 14 in his career against Randy Jones. And a ground ball to second. Krenchicki tosses him out. One down. Next up is Mark Wagner. Pops it up onto the outfield grass behind second. Play is made by Kinchiki. Two down. And we're back to Eddie Miller. Miller had the infield single, and he hits a line drive right at Yount. A 1-2-3 inning. We go to the top of the fifth. 4-3 to three Detroit. And it's the top of the lineup. Here's Omar Marino. Hitless in his career against Bly Levin. And a base hit. Damn it. I always jinx myself. Now, you're down a run in the fifth. I think... He, I think I would be going if I were Marino. He does, after all, lead the American League in stolen bases and a curveball for a strike. But Marino now with 48. I mean, this should be all fastballs. If I were doing uh, the pitch-by-pitch -pitch mode with Marino on first, we'd be firing fastballs in there. So the tying run is at second with nobody out. A ground ball to short. Marino hustling to third. So now the Tiger runs on third base. Um, we are going to pull the corners in. Otherwise, if it's to uh, the middle infield, we'll let that run score. Here's Murray. Oh, Murray strikes out looking. Six Ks for Bly Levin. And now we'll play everyone straight away against the Bull. And he strikes out. Wow. I did not think that uh, Bly Levin would be a strikeout pitcher when we traded for him, but uh, he has proven that's exactly what he is. Uh, we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Here's Ricky Henderson leading off. 
And a ground ball to third. One out. Next up is Tram. Trammel crushes it. Nice. 471 feet to center field. His ninth home run on the season. It's 5-3 to three, Detroit. Only one out for Hatcher. Hatcher rips it down the left field line for a hit. That's going to be a double. Do we want to go for three? No, we don't. Good job by Hatcher, though. 14th double. His OPS over 800. That is not something I anticipated. Runner in scoring position for Parrish. Oh, Parrish crushes it to center. Gone. That must be a really low fence in center field as Parrish now has two home runs in his last five games. His eighth on the season, and it's 7-3. to three. So, I'm liking the uh, tides turning here in Detroit's favor. Whitaker flies out to right, and he's two down. Next up is Hawk, and Hawk pops it up. So the Tigers get another three runs on the board. We're up by four. It's seven to three. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Wow, look at Murray and Luzinski. Both are going for the golden sombrero the next time up. That something you don't see very often. Player of the game, I mean, three batters who are two for three with each hitting a home run. Um, so that's a tough call right now. Let's see here. We have uh, John Castino. One for two with a stolen base today. And the eighth strikeout for Burt Belilevin. Holy shit. This is a, a game of many unexpected events. As Yount grounds out to second. Two down now for Kenny Singleton. Singleton's got a dong. And he pops this one up. In between first and second, looks like Trammell will make the play. So we go to the bottom of the second inning. Randy Jones is still in there. He doesn't walk very many batters. He doesn't really throw a lot of balls. So uh, despite giving up the seven runs, he's only at 80 pitches. Solars 0 for 2. Slams it to right. Unfortunately, right at Singleton. There's one out. Next up is Wags. Wags drills it to center. And Marino tracks it down. So two loud outs from the bottom of the lineup. And then Eddie Miller goes to right. Oh, and an error by Singleton. A two-base error. And Miller is in scoring position now for Ricky. Ricky 0 for 3 on the day. Oh, that's a gapper. All the way to the wall. Miller scores. And that is a double for Henderson, something he does not do very often. Only his fourth double on the season. And that's going to do it for Randy Jones. We're going to see Luis De Leon, who was just traded over here from St. Louis, uh, has not played. Oh, I guess he did pitch one game. Uh, earlier, uh, last series, I guess, right? Um, yet, he has not pitched for St. Louis this season. So, um, this is his second appearance. And, uh, I mean, a pretty solid, good-looking you know, pitcher here. Fastball, 94 miles an hour. That's his best pitch, rated at 88. Curveball below average, so really a one-pitch pitcher. But he's 23, he's got time to develop that curveball. So we have a right-hander on the mound. Here is Trammell, only a 238 hitter, versus righties, and he gets jammed, pops it up to first, and that'll do it. So Tigers get another run on the board. It's eight to three. Burp Lylevin at 97 pitches. We want to get him through one more inning here. He's going to have to face a couple lefties though for that to happen. Lylevin. Gets Ray Smith to pop it up. 
to short. Wagner makes the play. Krejcicki up now. One for two on the day. Slams a ground ball into the dirt. And Wags tosses him out. Two down. Here is Omar Marino. And Marino's going to pop it up to short. So Wagner is going to make all the plays. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Eight to three. Luis De Leon still in the ball game. We have Hatcher, Parrish, and Sweet Ludo up. One of these players needs to uh, separate themselves to be player of the game. Oh, there we go. Hatcher crushes it. He's got a double and a home run. That is his 14th home run on the season. 334. Look at those numbers. And he was not an all-star thanks to uh, George Brett. 9-3 to three now. Oh, Parrish strikes out. Only the first out. Sweet Lou up. Lou gets it into it. Oh, man. That's his second home run. Three for four. Now he's got two dogs. That is his 15th, right? It is. So I guess he goes into the lead for player of the game. All of uh, Whitaker's home runs come in bunches. Dawson. Base hit down the third base line. And... Uh, that probably could have been a double. Dawson holds it first. Runner on first. One out, and De Leon walks Solars. One down, first and second. Here is Mark Wagner. Wagner has not been on base yet today. Oh, he strikes out. 92 mile an hour fastball right down the pipe. And back to the top of the lineup with Eddie Miller. Miller, line drive to right, and it's caught by Singleton. So the Tigers extend the lead by seven. It's 10 to three. We're going to the top of the eighth inning. I see no need to have Blylevin pitch another inning. Um. Uh, we have a righty, a switchy, and a righty. We're going to bring in Bruce Robbins. Uh, he's a left-hander, so this is not necessarily the best matchup. But, um, you know, it's a blowout, and we'll give him some chance to uh, pitch against the righties. He's going to be sent down before long. Let's see how he does here. Ground ball to third. Since uh, we've moved Robbins into the relief role... He's been walking a lot of batters. And uh, you really probably should send him back to the minors just to get him straightened out a little bit. As he gets two quick outs here with the bull up next. Oh, bull gets revenge. Home run by Luzinski. That is his 17th home run on the season. Two down for John Castino. Castino hits a sharp one right at Lou, and that'll do it. So the home run by Luzinski makes the score 10 to 4. De Leon still in there. Here's Ricky. Ground ball to short. One out. Trammel up next. He goes to right field. We are going to give a uh, pinch hit opportunity to uh, Kevin Bass. He hasn't played much lately. Um, I mean, he's batting 205 versus right hand. He's not great. His average is totally dipped, which is why we've given uh, all the at-bats to Miller, and there's a double. There we go. So an opportunity, making the best of the opportunity. Fifth double on the season. For Kevin Bass and an RBI opportunity for Lance Parrish. Uh, number. A little number. Back to De Leon, and that'll do it. So we go to the top of the ninth inning. Robbins. Gonna keep him in there. 
going to face Yount, Singleton, and Ray Smith. Yount leading off with the ground ball to Wags. One down. Kenny Singleton up next. And a nice strikeout right on the corner. Two Ks. Or, no, I'm sorry. It's the first strikeout for Robbins. And that's going to leave it up to Ray Smith. Two down here in the top of the ninth. Oh, crap. A home run to dead center field. That is Ray Smith's fourth of the year. He's not even a power hitter. And he uh, absolutely crushed that. 474 feet against Robbins. Robbins walks. Krenchicki. Come on, we do not want to bring in another pitcher. And then a base hit. Robbins falling apart. This is the last chance. We are not going to let Robbins pitch to uh, Murray and Luzinski. We're going to let him pitch to uh, Alan Bannister, though. And he hits a fly ball to center, and that should do it. So, again, not the best relief performance from uh, Bruce Robbins, but he closes it out. Tigers win our 60th win on the season, and we're above 500 for July uh, for the first time. Uh, so far this month. Um, no trade offers. Let's take a look at the standings. Four games up on the Yankees. Baltimore falls to 10.5 back. Again, we could probably eliminate them uh, from contention with a good series. Kansas City holding on. They have a 9.5 game lead. We're going to see them after the Baltimore series. Take a look at the transactions. Oh, sorry, my bad. I was uh, working on getting the photos. Uh, in there last night for the uh, draft picks. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so Gary Matthew. Yeah, we've already seen all these. So nothing new there. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Tigers win 10-5. to Who is the player of the game? This is a tough call. Um, Whitaker hit the two home runs. I guess we have to give it to Lou as uh, we wait for it to load here. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe. We're going to put a fun little uh, card video uh, right here in this little box. Check that out if you have uh, more time and need some more entertainment. Uh, three home runs by Baltimore. Wow. Yeah, player of the game is Lou. He goes three for four with four ribbies. Uh, definitely deserves it. 15 home runs on the season now for Lou. Trammell number nine. Big Wheel got number eight. Sticky Mickey got 14. We got three doubles. Everything was going right for the Tigers. Uh, Burt Blylevin gets the win, giving up three runs. He goes to 9-11 overall, 3-1 in a Tiger Uni. Bruce Robbins gives up a double dong. And uh, Luis De Leon gets knocked around in relief. Randy Jones, 8-11 now on the season. So that's it for today. We're going to come back tomorrow with uh, Game 2 of the four-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.